right, so here's my hub bolt maker. It's got screws in the back to guide this part up. And a bolt goes in here and pushes that down. This moves up and down freely. <coughs> the uh, tap goes in through there and in through there into the other bolt there. And it moves like that. And this moves of just this it's kind of there just to have a bearing edge on both the front and the back. This bearing's on the either side, and the bolt goes through that. You need to mark where it needs to be spaced. I know that this particular bolt needs to have the three of the washers on there, and he's put that through. Bolt it on the other side. Make sure that it freely turns. This is all dusty. I don't know why. <laughs> Shouldn't matter much though. Then you get the drill. Let's put that on there. You want to have it on a low setting. I use the uh, three and one oil. It's the best. Thing I found that works for this. Use that, and you kind of just. Of course, you want to have the bolt in there. A little bit of tension at first. Not a whole lot. Until it starts grabbing, kind of like that. You kind of got to. I had the bolt to begin with. Grip it tight. Then it starts really gripping. You can see the bolt's turning on its own now. Going nice and slow. You go a little bit faster once you know it's going around good. Then you can go a little bit, it doesn't take much like an eighth of a turn at a time. It all depends on how deep you want the cut to be. Sometimes it'll stop and then turn it on its own. So you kind of need to force it. Then it'll become nice and easy. Turn it a little bit. can't even clean this uh, in between as well, that might help, because there's a lot of little metal filings that get stuck in there. Just keep going at it. Turn it down a little bit more. You can get more aggressive as you go. And how the bit has the four different sides, you can actually, it's best to get it, move the, this down when it's in between, like right there. Then you can really get it. You want to make sure that the bolt's turning all the time. Because if it's not, then it's just going to sit there and grind away on one spot. You can do this by hand, but it would take a long time to do by hand. Then 
the nice thing about this is you can actually look at it as it's going along just to see how the progress is going. And I actually, I'm going to call that good. Take that out. My paper towel is covered with metal filings now. I'll get that out later. <laughs> Anyway, just undo it. it. Doesn't have to be super tight. Pull that out. If it gets stuck on the bearing, then you know it did good. Because <laughs> when it's stuck on the bearing, it means that the tap the edges were nice and good on there. Ugh. Try to pull this off there. Okay, there we go. off. Oil in there to clean it. A whole bunch of metal shavings in there. I don't know how well you can see that or if it's from focus or anything, but Start it off just like this bolt. And put a nice little hob in there. Just using a tap. But that's how I've made all of my hob bolts since I bought my first eBay little thing that you put on the motor that didn't work at all. After that I got a tap and I was able to print an older version of a hob bolt maker. That didn't quite work so well, and got those made, and then finally I decided to make this, because I just wasn't getting a good, nice, clean hob on there, and this one, this one looks pretty good. It's the best either. All the fibers on this, you could probably smooth it out with a little sandpaper, but probably be a good idea just to smooth it out somehow. I don't know what you could really use to get it smoother, but I guess if you just kind of rub that go to some leather or some smooth sandpaper it might help, but you just want to clean it off so there's no metal shavings or bits that'll cause any problems with it. But that's pretty much it. My hub bolt maker works pretty good. So cap keeps it on there, and this little cap in here keeps the bearing in there. I didn't have those to begin with. In order to get this in there, it's kind of a puzzle. You have to put this little part in here first. And then once you get that in there, you put this in. And then there's a nut up inside of there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. but Right up there, there's a little nut that goes in there that this threads into. That way it pushes it down. Like that. It only goes down so far. So you could use this for... All kinds of things to use a tap to make a hub thread on it. That's the cat you hear in the background. But anyway, that's my hub bolt maker. Thanks for watching.